Flynn. This story is about Flynn, Sodor's fastest fire engine. He can travel on a track or go by road. But one day Flynn forgot how to use his road wheels. How would he race to the rescue now? Flynn was a fire engine with two sets of wheels. One set was for riding the rails, and the other was for rolling on the roads. One day Victor was fixing Flynn's road wheels. Ready, smiled Victor. Now you can rescue by road or by rail. But Flynn hadn't driven on roads for a long time. His wheels wobbled as he rumbled away. Before long, Flynn stopped at a quiet junction. He wanted to try his road wheels while no one was watching. He rolled slowly onto the road, but his wheels wobbled and shook. He didn't feel much like the famous fiery Flynn. Just then, Charlie chuffed by. What's wrong, he peeped. You look like a big red wobble on wheels. Flynn didn't want to look silly, so he rolled back onto the rails where his wheels wouldn't shake. The Soto Search and Rescue Team needs your help, said Charlie. Hurry, hurry if you can. Rocky was glad when Flynn arrived at the Search and Rescue Center. Emergency, roared Rocky. The Fat Controller's shed is on fire. Firefighter Flynn, ready, steady, and raring to go, Flynn called. The quickest way to reach the shed was by road, but Flynn was worried about his wobbly wheels. I can get there faster than fast by rail, he promised Rocky. Riding the rails, fit Flynn felt fast and fearless. Then he saw Butch had broken down ahead. Can you give me a toll, Flynn? called Butch. Flynn wanted to help, but he knew that would meant by using his wobbly road wheels. He didn't want to be called a big red wobble again. Sorry, Butch, said Flynn. I'm racing to an emergency, and he rattled away. There was more trouble at the level crossing. Bertie had stopped. His engine had overheated. Please fetch some water to cool me down, beeped Bertie. Flynn wanted to help, but he would have to go on the road. He didn't want Bertie's passengers to call him a big red wobble. Sorry, called Flynn. The Fat Controller's shed is on fire. Flynn felt bad for not helping, but he didn't want to his friends to see him wobble all over the roads. At last, he arrived at the burning shed. This is an emergency, the fat controller said to Finn crossly. Why have you come by rail? Flynn didn't want to say that he was scared to go on the roads. I'm sorry, sir, he cried. No excuses, Flynn, said the fat controller, and no more delays. Flynn looked at the fire. Then he looked at all the people watching him. They will call me a big red wobble, he worried. I can't go on the road. I just can't do it. Flynn felt terrible. I'm not fiery, Flynn. I'm frightened, Flynn. I can't save the shed, and it's all my fault. Suddenly, a little boy shouted, I'll f Firefighting hero is here. Hooray for Flynn. Everybody cheered. Flynn looked and, and he listened. Then his wheels stopped wobbling. I am fiery Flynn. I want to be a hero. I don't mind being called a big red wobble on wheels. I'm ready to rescue. Here I come. Flynn raced onto the road. His wheels wobbled, but Flynn didn't mind. He was Firefighter Flynn of the road and rail. St stand back for Flynn, the Fat Controller boomed. Water whooshed into the flames. They flickered and fizzed, and soon the fire was out. Now I must hurry. I have others to rescue, Flynn said bravely. First Flynn fetched water to cool down Bertie's engine. Then he towed Butch safely home. 
Thomas and Charlie were waiting to greet Flynn. Your wheels aren't wobbling, Charlie said. You're not a big red wobble any more. No, you're a big red hero, Thomas smiled. Flynn's wheels began to shake again, but this time it wasn't with worry. It was with joy.